We have a special guest. She will be in attendance, but probably will not contribute much on her thoughts regarding the story. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and I like to talk about books, book reviews, reading vlogs, stuff like that. So if any of that interests you, then definitely subscribe. But today I'm going to be talking about The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. So before I even get into the summary, which is what I'll be starting with, I just want to apologize. I've been really, really bad and sporadic about posting because i am just had my second baby and like postpartum and adjusting to life with two. We have like no family nearby, so it's been quite the adjustment, but let's just get into a summary, spoiler free, and then a review. This is a really new release, so I'm going to keep this whole thing spoiler free to the best of my Ability. Just so you know, I won't be giving away anything about the ending. I'll just be commenting without spoiling. So, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz follows Alex, a writer who, after years of attempts at getting published and subsequent writer's block, suddenly finds herself the winner of a really coveted slot at a writing retreat held by her favorite author. And the uh, first snake that we encounter in the story, obviously there's quite a few, the first snake we encounter in the story is that her former best friend and current enemy nemesis Ren will also be attending the retreat. So of course, right off the bat, there's some an added layer of something to be nervous about already there's like kind of a weird tension there of course the plot would be nothing without a remote and haunted location which is this author Rosa's house and of course a snowstorm to keep everybody stranded and locked into place and to raise tensions even more when arriving Alex meets the other attendees all women um, a really bubbly girl named Poppy uh, the more serious key um, another one named Taylor who I think is a teacher I can't really remember um, and then of course Ren who is her former best friend they are all introduced to Rosa the author who is hosting the retreat as well as all of her staff and stuff like that and right off the bat they're all struck at how kind of erratic her behavior is combined with obviously the really like remote location there's just a couple like things that are red flags but of course it's like an official retreat so none of that could possibly really be like a red flag right but yeah like I said she's just got really erratic behavior and then the location is this house where that is supposedly haunted because there was a long time ago a really kind of suspicious mysterious death that occurred there it was possibly tied to like spiritualism it was just very bizarre so there's a lot going on right off the bat but the main aim of this retreat as Rosa reveals to them is to complete an entire novel in the month that they're there so complete an entire novel in the month that they're there which is wild and the best book is going to win a lucrative book deal with Rosa's publisher so the stakes are obviously super high that combined with this just super heavy workload means everybody is like losing sleep already the tensions and stress exist but they are that much higher so it just really amplifies the stakes I guess it it increases the stakes it amplifies all of the tension and on top of that all of these really bizarre things keep happening and obviously as the book goes on they become more and more intense but I will not get into that because like I said I want this to be spoiler free so I'm gonna get right into the review and start by saying oh full disclosure I listened to the audiobook because all these babies I listened to the audiobook so I feel like that obviously like affects your experience of the book whether or not you read the physical copy of the book yourself or listen to the audiobook and I felt like the narration was actually pretty good on this one but I just wanted to give that disclosure if you're reading the physical copy you still might have a pretty different experience than I did overall I think the story had a decent pacing it kept me really interested initially I thought it was odd that they were providing such backstory for like Alex and Ren but it kind of makes sense as they get into the retreat and the story goes on but I do remember thinking that was a little bit odd initially but yeah I think that overall Overall, the story had like a good pace to it kept me interested although I will say some elements felt really out of place and overall the story was probably a bit more sexually charged than I like 
would care for typically. It's nothing like really good or bad. It's just not my preference, I guess. So not really a super positive or super negative. It just is not my preference. Um, but I don't think it really affected it negatively. Just something worth mentioning that I didn't like. I did enjoy that the cast of characters were basically all female and I think that because of that it really had a little opportunity to explore some kind of like interpersonal dynamics between women and sort of like the stuff with Ren and Alex as well. It just added a lot to the tension, to the plot. I think it scratched the surface with some of those interactions. It could have gone definitely a lot deeper. While the story did have really good suspense and intrigue, not really good, pretty good suspense and intrigue, I think the ending was just a little too bizarre. I think there were just a few too many parts that were too bizarre for me, if that makes sense. Some of the twists and turns were really great and then yeah, other elements just felt strange. Like the nightmares that Alex was experiencing, oh, someone's waking up. The nightmares Alex was experiencing, those just felt strange and kind of out of place to me. I just felt like they didn't really fit that well. And I get that some of them were meant to be like metaphors, I think, but it still just felt odd. It felt kind of like it didn't need to be told through that lens. I don't know. I could see some people maybe liking that. Personally, I didn't really like it. I don't think it really added anything to the story and I think that that energy or like plot time could have been better spent. I also feel like another thing just scratched the surface of but could have gone into a little bit deeper would be how it affects us when someone in a position of power or someone who is like our role model or idol, how that affects us when they behave like contrary to how we think they should. I would just be really curious if she would have delved into that a little bit more. I think that that would have been kind of cool because definitely, especially in recent years, there's been way more discussion surrounding power and influence and how that affects like power dynamics. And I think that that could have been explored a little bit further. Again, kind of scratched the surface on that, but I think could have been could have been a little bit more of a deep dive for that in my personal opinion maybe cut some of the weird nightmares and make room for that but yeah like i said i just doesn't get into any of these topics in a deep enough way to make it truly great. But I do think the fact that those elements are kind of there makes it pretty good. So for me, the suspense and everything was like pretty good. The story was very unique and original and I think that is one of the biggest things that this book has going for it. The setting is really, really great, spooky, isolated, always great. And then the story itself I think is a little bit more original and I really like that. And and I think those are some of the strongest elements in this. But for the rest of the story, like I said, it felt like a little bit piecemeal just with some of the random fragments and random elements that just didn't probably need to be there. So I don't know, that's my opinion. I think I would give this like a 3.5. Good, okay, not great. Nothing I would go out and tell everybody to read, but like it's okay. It's pretty good. It's definitely better than some of the last books that I've read. So, and I think especially for a first effort, that's something worth noting, which is that probably her next books are going to be really, really good because this was pretty good. So I feel like if your first effort is on this level, then I'm sure you can produce something a little bit more cohesive and a little bit more polished for a second book. Overall, pretty good. If you want to read it, read it, but you don't have to go out and get it and I wouldn't like rush to consume it unless you're already very interested. Let me know below if you have read this yet or if you're interested in reading it, what your thoughts were, are, all of that. My little nugget is starting to stir, so I think I'm gonna go. Please like, please subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you later. I promise I'm gonna start posting more, so please hold me accountable. Anyway, bye. <laughs>